Dun 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 five six F five six F five six F So each coat will then result in Welcome back five six F families. Boo! Happy Halloween to all. We have had a great month with all of our new grade five students. To start our October news report, Holly will be talking to you about a special activity we have been focusing on in literacy. Here's Holly. Remember how last month, Tara and Caitlin were talking about our class read aloud, half full of your bucket? Well, Miss Fawcett actually went to the store and got us plastic buckets. Every day for a couple of minutes, we take out our sticky notes and write a compliment for someone. For example, Holly, you are so nice and athletic and very smart. I am so happy that you are in my class. Victoria, isn't that sweet? And did you also know that how full is your bucket is a metaphor? The bucket stands for your self-esteem. Every time and whenever you pay it forward to someone, it fills up your own bucket. This activity has been very encouraging. We will be working on it for the next few weeks. Hi, I am going to be talking to you about the HWDSB Commons. The HWDSB Commons is an online community where students can interact with one another within the HWDSB School Board. On this website, students can post comments related to our learning. Often, Ms. Fawcett will post a question or two related to science or math or other subjects. We are having a blast. Good. Hmm. Interesting school I'm visiting. This is very interesting. Excuse me, are, are you Stephen? Yeah, I am. Can you tell me what's going on with this reading strategies? In the reading strategies, we, we're visualizing. Mm -hmm. So we're reading the book, and then like on every other page, we are visualizing. So, and then we just write down what we see in our heads on the page. On these sticky notes. Yeah, on the sticky notes, and then we stick them in the book. Oh, so you're reading bone out from bone bill. Yeah, that sounds it, like a very engaging graphic it's a novel. Book. Graphic novel. Very exciting. So I see you've described something that you're reading and what you visualized while you're reading it. Yeah. Will this book just be for visualizing? Yeah, just for vi well, other reading strategies, but so far it's just for visualizing. Excellent. That's great. Does it help you? Uh, well, it just helps to like sort of organize, um, organize the. You just like, organize your strategies. Yeah. Like, Excellent. And so when you're visualizing, maybe it helps you to understand what you're reading. Yeah. Kind of like a movie in your head. Yeah, basically. Hmm. Very cool. Great work. Thank you. Miss Fawcett has been reading us Alexandria of Africa by Eric Walters. It's a great novel that teaches us how our actions affect us later on in life. Thanks, Victoria. Next up is Thomas talking about a special guest. On the 29th of October, Tom Cooper and Trustee John Stone came into our class to do a presentation. Tom Cooper works within the Hamilton Poverty Roundtable and Trustee John Stone is our school's trustee. They did an exercise with us, we found out that that to buy your basic needs is coats about costs about one million one thousand fifty seven dollars and fifty forty set forty five cents each month. That's just your basic needs. The people who live in poverty in Hamilton only get about, get paid $599 a month from social assistance. That is clearly not enough money for their basic needs. Oh. 
Mexico. We also talked about how, how we can help poverty in, in, individually. Some of our ideas are fundraisers, food drives, volunteering, and more. It was great pos presentation. presentation. Thanks, Thomas. It's getting close to winter. We need coats, gloves, snow pants, hats, and more. We have had a winter coat drive. Kids at Russo have been bringing in winter gear for children who need it. It ends on the 31st. Show your Russo Ram spirit and donate a coat. In June, we are focusing on European handball. We have a great tournament. The object of the game is to get a goal. Using passing skills, but if you're only holding the ball, you can only take two steps. We have also been playing some really other fun games. For example, octopus, net dodgeball, prison ball, and many other fun games. Also, we are now starting our new volleyball unit. We are learning our basic skills like volleys, bumps, serves, and passing. We are working towards a fun volleyball tournament in the end of the year. <laughs> In music, we are fo now focusing on the theory and soon recorders. 5-6-F, 4-5-0, and possibly 6-G will be performing Flanders Field, the song, at our Remembrance Day Assembly. Hope to see you there on November the 11th. In September, we changed the words to a song called I Want You Back by Cheryl Lloyd. We made it into a fun, happy school spirit song. We performed it at the September Assembly, and we hope that you were there to enjoy it. This is 5-6-F's ideas of how we can help children in need. I think we should start a fundraiser to help kids get a cafeteria in their school who don't have as much money as us. One of the ways that I think we can stop hunger is by instead of going to the store and getting that extra gum pack or getting a bag of Doritos, just like instead you could like give that money to needy children who could buy their basic food needs. We can help people by like, well, we do like food drives and coat drives and like fundraisers to help people. One of the ways you can help is by donating a coat. So far, Mr. Overmeyer has been teaching us about the varieties of colors. For example, warm colors, cold colors, primary colors, and secondary colors. Also, we are going to be using types, different types of paint, like watercolors, acrylic paint, and more. He gave us a pamphlet that includes all of Claude Monet's art, so we can be practicing his art using all of the different colors that we have learned. Next up is Caitlin with math. In math, we have been focusing on mental math strategies. We have been learning different strategies like decomposition, partial products or sums, compensating, decomposition using arrays, and repeated addition. The sixes are doing the same thing as the fives, but they all see as bigger numbers. Miss McDonald has been visiting our class. She has been teaching us all sorts of different strategies and more. Miss Fawcett and Miss McDonald get together and make word problems that we can work on in groups. We are well on our way and having a blast. Now, here is Caitlin showing us how to do an array. An array is a way to break down the numbers into their place value. It's also a good strategy to use for mental math by multiplying. So instead of using 2 times 20, you just pretend the zero isn't there. 2 times 2 is 4, right? Then you add the zero, 40. 2 times 2 is 4. Then all you do is add those answers. Done. Next up is Victoria with French. In French, we have been focusing on full sentences that you can use in everyday life. We have also been working on our boucliers. Here are two pictures to show all of our hard work. We had to write about what we are interested in, what we are good at, and what we are most proud of. We also did some skits that we made ourselves. Then we performed them. We are having such a great time in French. In grade 5 science, they have been focusing on the human body. Hayden Lee's dad, who is a chiropractor, 
came in and di did an interesting presentation. He brought in a model skeleton to teach us the different names of bones and more. In grade 6 science, we have been focusing on biodiversity. We learned how to classify the attributes of different kingdoms and animals. We have been learning about kingdoms of monera, protist, plant, animal, and fungi. Also, we have learned about invertebrates and vertebrates. Did you know that the fly is an arthropod? That's a type of invertebrate. We know this because of its specialized mouth and compound eye. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next month.